Ooh, I have a rock in my sandal. Ah! Oh my god. It hurts. Oh. Oh. It hurts. We are here in town now. This is, I think, the very beginning. So he was saying um, that the town, what originated in 1905, right? I don't remember. Yeah, it was 1905, and at, at its peak, it had about 8,000 people, and then next year it went down to like 7,000 people, and by 1910 there was only 200 people left because they closed the mines and everybody started leaving. So there's uh, not a lot of buildings left and it's not due to the weather, it's because uh, people picked up their buildings and moved them to other towns or demolished them for building materials or like uh, repurposing materials. So that's kind of cool. And then uh, people who left their buildings here, they're just sitting here now. Uh, that's kind of amazing. The ones up there look like they're in way better condition. Those are the ones I've seen on the internet that are like, yeah. whoa, this is a real ghost town. When they build buildings back in the day, out here in the desert, because the climate, you know, climate changes so quickly from hot to cold here, they built the walls um, being like 14 inches thick. And it, what it does is in the summertime, it keeps inside of the building about 15 to 20 degrees cooler. And in the winter time, it keeps the inside of the building 15 to 20 degrees warmer. And they do the same things in Russia. So I remember growing up at the condo, our walls were super, super thick and it definitely helped with the heat and the cold. Look at this old electrical stuff. Yeah, go in there, get them a shot of inside, it's cool. They were short. Or maybe I'm just super tall. Both. That is so cool. I don't know how safe it is. There's a tiny little building over here. Where else? Is Where did Jed go? Why do people have to put, put their initials everywhere? I wish they didn't. I don't know. This is a cold little hut. What they do? Maybe maybe it was a little store or something. Could have been. Yeah, because it looks like look they have shelves inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could have been a little uh, store or like a um, like a studio or something like that. You know? Because mm -hmm. I don't I can't imagine people having just these tables. It was a little school. Yeah, people back in those days, definitely a lot shorter. And I'm pretty tall. So I feel like a giant in these buildings. <laughs> yeah, the person at the museum said that by 1911, there was only 14 people left. And by around 1920, it was completely abandoned. Population zero. <sighs> You're clumsy. You're clumsy. You're the one who's clumsy. You hit your head on the van at like five times every night. Well, because I don't have a high top yet. This does not look safe. I went in there. You're crazy. So what? I think this was a chicken coop. Chickens 
roost yeah. up here and lay eggs in there. Let's go to the buildings. Yeah, let's go do Woo! that. We're officially at the ghost town. There's, there's, oh, my God, look. oh, jackrabbits. Yeah. There's way more than this down there. There's complete buildings. Yeah, and there's this building right here, whatever that was. Yeah, there's not a sign for this one. Yeah, so this was a school. It's fenced off. Um, yeah, the school is fenced off, so we can't really go in there. But we can show you outside. This building doesn't have a sign, so we don't know what it was, but something was here. We know that. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah. By that other buildings we were at, behind them there was like a little dip of all those cans. Old cans. Look, they had some sort of, I don't know if there was like a storage they were kept, or maybe there was a tunnel or something. Yeah. Uh, Let's walk down there. It looks like there might be a yeah. hole down there. Maybe I should change my Watch shoes. out for broken glass. Yeah. You definitely should change your shoes. There's scorpions and rattlesnakes. Yeah. So they could have used that to store food and stuff back in the day because they didn't have refrigerators. Yeah. And it would keep it cold. Like this rock has been here for over a hundred years. But, oh, let me go this way. If you think about it though, Moscow is 900 years old and Russia is even, the whole country is even older and there are still buildings there from like 1600s, you know, 1500s and stuff like that. So. If you build it right, it will last forever. Unfortunately, nowadays that doesn't happen. Why did they fence? They probably fence it up so people don't put their initials on there. Yeah. But it looks like people still get through. It wouldn't be that hard to get under the barbed wire. Yeah, it's not very low, so. Yeah. So in that museum we were at, there was a Pranova picture of the whole town. In, their for, in the first year of establishment, it was like 1906. And uh, this town was pretty big. Whoa. That would suck to fall in there. It would be very hard to get out. Even though there are other people here, I'm glad there's not like ridiculous amount of people here. Only a few. And this place is so like spread out and big where you don't really see a lot of people, you know? kind of neat so you can kind of explore on your own. I wonder what this was. It's probably like a city hall or something like that. There's a sign that says bank. Oh, it used to be a bank? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, so there's a sign over there, a wood sign that says bank that was probably up front and people moved it in here. Oh, it smells like piss in here. It smells like a toilet. It's kind of sad that people come here, you know, to hang out or whatever or see this place and they, you know, uh, write on the walls their initials or whatever. It kind of ruins it, you know. It's a historic landmark, you know. People just ruin it. So this says HD and LD Parter. And I think those initials is the initials of the guy who um, founded this town or discovered it or whatever. I'm pretty sure. I've read it at the museum and I'm pretty sure that was his initials. It's pretty violent. People really like to shoot each other. It's super violent. Yeah. People. People were definitely trigger happy. People were so tough in the Wild West. You yeah. had to be. You had to be. There are no laws. Yeah. Every man for himself. Okay. Hey. I really want to see a rattlesnake. It's getting cold out, so they're pretty slow right now. But they're they should still be out here. Overbury Building and Bishop Jewelry Store. Oh, this one. John's oh, Cook bank. and Company Bank. Yeah, that was the bank. 
cool. Let's take it out the bank. Yeah, let's go to the bank. I need some money. Pray for me. Eee! You're grabby. You're grabby. Oh. You have a very nice booty. Look, there's a mine hole. <gasps> Where? Oh, I see it. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah. I love this. God, those bricks are gonna fall any moment. Look at those inside. Not bad. Like those rooms. those rooms right there. Mm -hmm. Those are probably where they kept the money and stuff. Uh, especially on the very bottom floor in the basement. Oh my God! Hats flying away. I'm uh, borrowing Jed's hat today because it's too hot for a beanie, and I want to wear a hat, but I don't have like a baseball hat, so I need to buy myself one. Oh, actually, what I can do is I can make my own with my logo mm -hmm. and order it. Okay, so now we're to the good part, to the main part. There are some houses over there that are modern, and I think people might live there. I think that's where the caretaker might live or whoever owns this land. Uh, so we're not gonna film that, but we're gonna film these amazing places. Babe, where are you? Up here. Is this a train cart? Yeah, it looks like you can go in on this side. Whoa, look inside. They're so cool. They used to be able to, uh, they used to make them all out of wood. Really? Yeah. And, and they survived. It's amazing. Kind of. Kind of, yeah, but still. You should go inside. Look at this. What was in there on top? I don't know. Looks like some kind of lookout or something. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't look very sturdy. Yeah, it's not very sturdy. But if I fall, you guys can laugh at me. No falling. Once again, people putting their initials, T plus F equals love, E plus J equals love. We're not, we're not gonna put our initials here because we are respectful people. Oh, look at this one over here. So I don't know, on top, that maybe, maybe that was the storage on top or something. You know how some, how some of them had like this higher Kind of like a second floor type deal. Mm -hmm. Maybe this was like part of the kitchen too. I don't know. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. They're spacious. That would be like perfect space for a little tiny home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Hello. Amazing. My name is Jed. Mm -hmm. Go check this building look out. Look at that booty. Booty, 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 booty. So this is an amazing building. This was a casino. It's all felt ten. It just sucks because I would love to go in there, but if you do end up going in there or breaking something or taking an artifact, you can f you can get fined up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and you can uh, spend up to six years in jail for that. It just kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, it sucks that there's so many idiots in this world that do stuff like that and make it worse for everybody else you know for people who do respect history and respect artifacts and who do want to look inside and learn something without destroying anything you know so yeah it definitely sucks yeah but at least we can see it from the outside and at least it's still here and that's the amazing part it is still here and we can at least enjoy it from uh behind the fence look there's jed it's a jet species and it's natural habitat you only do see this kind of stuff rarely. It's a rare occasion to see this animal in its natural habitat. Oh my god, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. Ah! It's a jail? Yeah. Hey, I'm in jail. Guys, I'm inside a jail. Can you believe that? Does this door open? No. Let me out. Let me out. Yeah, I'm in jail. You need to bail me out. Wow. This is incredible.
incredible. Look at these doors. I wish people still made doors like this. I wish you can go inside. Knock on it. What do you mean? Knock on the door. Can you let me in? No. Let's look inside, guys. Oh, oh. Uh oh, I almost fell. Oh, look inside. Can't really see much. Oh my God, there's a super old table there. I don't know if you guys can see anything. See that table over there? You see that table over there? Yeah, that is super old. And then there's some sort of stove there and piece of cloth and beer cans. That's new. Somebody put their garbage in there. Can you believe that? What a jerk. I know, assholes. But there's a super old table in there. This looks like a bullet hole to me. Yeah. Oh look, up, there's a hole here. I can't stick my camera in there. Oh, there's three bullet, four bullet holes, five bullet holes, six bullet holes. Look at this. Yeah. Come here. Hold on, I'm filming inside for the hole. Can you guys see? Probably not. Hopefully. Okay, now we're gonna see the bullet holes. Oh, there's one here. There's one here. Those are coming from the inside. That one's from the inside. That one's from the inside because when it goes through it, yeah. it goes like that. Somebody tried to escape. Look at that. Wow, it's so beautiful. Once again, this would be a perfect location for a photo shoot. Oh my god. Yeah, if we ever, if we buy a land here and gold field and uh, you know, I can definitely come here and do photo shoots with clients and models and whatnot. That would be sick. Okay, let's walk. Once again, if I fall, please don't laugh. Or do. No falling. Okay. I'll try. Oh my god, this is so cool. Look, people grabbed the barbed wire and people went inside there. Look at this hole. That's what she said, or he said. <laughs> oh. Wow. Those people were tiny back in the day. You know? Or I'm just tall, I don't know. I, so I wanna go inside. I wanna go inside. You see people like broke down this thing to go inside? Mm -hmm. And put the barber over here to go inside. What do you think, baby? I think we should not. Yeah, I, I think it's super dangerous. Yeah, it is. You're right. The, the mines collapse all the time. Yeah, you're right. Plus, there's probably a ton of rattlesnakes in there. And gold? No. Yeah. Maybe. Probably not, though. If there was gold, people would take it by now. Okay, so we just made food because it's 5 o'clock and we haven't eaten today. I uh, warmed up mac and cheese for Jed and I made myself an Evie sandwich and now I'm just feeding Lily because it's her dinner time. I love this kitchen setup. It works amazing. The only thing is we need the heights up though. And then after we're done here, where we're going to go? Cemetery. Cemetery and then the valley. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And then we're going to be there for quite a while. Well, not like months or anything, but a few days at least. Should be fun. What do you think, Lily? Oh, she's she's waiting on food. Yeah, Hold she's on. hungry. That's what she thinks. Yeah, let me let me give her food. And then, and she's eating out of the plate because she's part of the family. There you go, sweetie. And we accidentally left her food in a water bowl in Tonopah. Yes, it was an accident, though. Per accident, it wasn't on purpose. Look at this road that we're driving on. It's gravel and it's filled with huge rocks. We'll have to drive very, very slowly. And uh, hopefully there's a cemetery out there in the distance. Ooh, it's probably where the people are, right there. Yeah, I'll bet it is. Yeah, it's probably tiny, but it's okay. It's still a cemetery, which is cool. We it both... might not be tiny, it might be huge. Yeah, we both love cemeteries, so... Yeah. Unless it's in the dark and it's super, super haunted, then I get freaked out. <laughs> then I love it more. Okay. So this cemetery is uh, not your usual cemetery. There is uh, definitely some grave sites, but because it's so old, um, 
you can't really see the cemetery from far away you really have to be here to know it's here so it says bullfrog rhyolite cemetery 1904 to 1912. there is a graveyard over here it doesn't have a gravestone or anything there is one over here and i don't really know which way it goes oh it's actually it goes this way because the head goes to where the sunset is the head goes to the west man this this step, there's uh, fences around the graves. Um, reminds me of home because in Russia, that's how all cemetery. Ooh, that's how all cemeteries are. When you go to Russian cemetery, pretty much every single grave is gonna have a fence around it, and that's so people don't walk over the grave. And it's kind of like, you know, your piece of land. You know, a lot of people would put a bench inside there so you can sit there and uh, mourn your loved ones. Look at this one. It has two gravestones. I'm not sure if it's two people or if it's one person. I just put two stones. Stones. They're made out of wood. Very unique. This woman was 105 years old. Damn. Yeah. Bessie Mofet, 1881 to 18, 19... uh, 1986. Damn. That's crazy, huh? Okay, that cemetery was pretty cool. It's very, very old for sure, and there's a lot of graves that didn't have any markings anymore because, because the, the cemetery is so old. It was very neat to see. Um, so now we're finally on our way to the valley. We're pretty close. Yeah, we're pretty close. We're like 36 miles away from the camp we're gonna be staying at for tonight, and uh, probably 10 miles till we uh, cross the Nevada California border and actually hit and actually be in a Death Valley National Park itself, which is kind of neat. I'm super, super excited. I've never been there and I've been wanting to go for a super, super long time. <laughs> 